not the God of everybody. He only cares about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We, the Lord thy God, have chosen thee. The Lord thy God, our God, the people on the side has what? Have chosen thee. The Lord has chosen us. That's why we look better than everybody else. That's why we dance better than everybody else. That's why we cook better than everybody else. That's why our music is better than everybody else. That's why our cars look better than everybody else. That's why we dress better than everybody else. You ever been to a black person party? It is on and cracking. And you ever been to an easy to white party? It is on and cracking. When blacks and Hispanics get together, man, we have more fun than anybody. But that is what we are missing. We are missing something. What are we missing? Give me Proverbs 23 and 23. We are missing something, man. The Lord said we better than everybody else. The Lord said we supposed to be above everybody else. The Lord said we are the rulers. We are the leadership class of this whole world. But what are we missing? Why do our neighborhoods look the way they do? Why are our young men out here being sodomites? Why are young women out here being two dollar whores? What is going on in the black and Hispanic community that has us the way we are? We're gonna show you. Give me that, the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23, come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 23. Come on. By the truth, the scriptures tell us this, to buy the truth. What is the truth? Psalms 119, 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness and thy law is the truth. The laws of God is the truth. And that is what you are missing in your household, black man, Hispanic man. You are missing the laws of God. You think you can do whatever you want. You think because America says you're free, you can do whatever you want. You think you can be a homosexual, a sodomite. You think you can be a thief. You think you can be a drug dealer. You think you can be a drug addict. You think you can be a gangbanger. But you cannot be that, man. You have to buy this truth. Read from the top. Buy the truth and sell it not. When you buy this truth, you don't sell it. You don't give it away to anybody. When you change your life, you don't give it away and become a slave again. And let me tell you something. What does it mean to buy the truth and sell it now? When you go into a grocery store, such as Walmart, such as Walgreens, such as Capital One Cafe, when you go to Amazon, when you buy something, all you do is give up a little bit of money. But when the scriptures tell you to buy the truth, you have to give up something so much more precious than money. That's what you don't understand. There is something out here that is more precious than money. There is something out here that is worth more than money, but you can't see it. All you do as a black or Hispanic, and because we're so trodden and their foot is on our necks, and because we're so poor, all you do is chase money, chase money, chase money. And here's the funny part, you ain't got none. Right. We chase money all day and ain't got a damn dollar in our pocket. Right. You know why you chase money? Because the white man, who is the devil, tells you that money is important. Right. You know why money is important to him? Because he doesn't care about his own damn life. That is why he chases money. I'm going to show you something in this Bible. A brother tried to buy the gifts of God with money. And let me tell you what Peter told him, a prophet of the Lord. Let me tell you what a, a nigger told him when he tried to buy the truth. We tried to buy the gifts of God. Read the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 20. Come on. But Peter said unto him, Come on. Thy money perish with thee. Thy money perish with thee. I don't give a damn how much money you got. You can't take it with you. You chase money all day and you don't have anything. Money does not make you happy. I know millionaires. I know people that's making six figures and are unhappy. Their life is unsatisfiable. They are so greedy. They chase, they chase, they chase. They run, they run, they run. And they can never catch the finish line. That is what this devil has taught you. 
to keep running, to keep chasing money. That's all you do, and it never works for you. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let's keep finishing. Come on. Because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Because you thought that the gift of God could be purchased by money. That's why every Sunday, your black behind is in a Christian church giving this man your money. You don't have anything. You and you think you can buy a blessing. You go to church and get that Christian pastor, some snake, some poop your money, and you think you're going to get a blessing. You think you're going to get a job because you give some nigga your money. It hasn't worked for you for 500 years. Stop. If you are black and Hispanic, stop going to church, man. Stop going to the, uh, the uh, cathedral. Stop following Caucasians, man. Follow us. Follow the guys who really believe in this Bible. The men who really serve the Lord. The men who have gave up their life for the Lord. We've given up everything back here. Everything. We've lost houses. We've lost, we've lost cars. We've lost family members. We've lost friends. We've lost brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers. We've even lost children for this birth. This is more valuable than anything you can give me on this earth. You know why? Because I know the promises of this Bible. That's something you don't know. That's something you'll never know. And you know what the promise of this Bible is? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans will rule the earth one day. And you're going to be under us. We're going to put our foot on your neck and you're going to work. You're going to work and you're going to work. You're going to work so much, you're going to try to get a day off. And you know what I'm telling you? Hell no. Ain't no days off. You're going to work seven days a week, 18 hour days. And you're going to work your hands off, your behind off. Your hands are going to be blistered. Your feet are going to be blistered. Your hands are going to be bloody. Your feet are going to be bloody. And you're just going to keep working and working and working. And in that day, in that day, you will know what it feels like to be a black man. In that day, you will know what it feels like to be a Hispanic. In that day, you will know what it feels like to be a Native American. You're going to call off and work, and I'm going to find you. And I'm going to fire you, and you're going to be homeless because you don't work. You're going to feel how it feels to be me. You're going to feel how it feels to grow up in the ghetto. You're going to understand it. You're going to figure it out. You're going to be like, damn, if this is what black people be going through, their whole life, hell yes. And I'm going to work you. I'm going to work you. I'm going to work you. To That's right. Let's start at 32. The book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 21. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. You ain't got no part or no lot in this matter. Keep reading. For thy heart is not right in the sight of God. Your heart is not right in the sight of God. You can't buy this, you can't buy this Bible. You can't buy the truth of this Bible. You can't buy the secrets of this Bible with money. Money doesn't matter to the Lord. You can't buy the Lord. You cannot buy a blessing. This is how you get the things of the Lord. Set your mind right. Set your heart right. And the Lord will bless you.